Ag Bean Sports Hub. We love seeing you suffer. Now, last week we talked about how training your mind is just as important in professional sport as training your body. So this week I went along to the Aspital Hospital to talk to the man who feeds world champion Anthony Joshua and the Manchester United players to find out how he helps them stay on top. Grumpy athletes is sort of uh, par for the course with me, really. I think uh, whether that's grumpy because they're training hard, um, or grumpy because they're not eating enough, or grumpy because they're just not allowed to eat the nice things that they want to eat every day of the week. Or maybe I've picked a bad menu for that trip, or picked a bad menu for that day in the dining room. Yeah, um, yeah, it's kind of par for the course. You're often uh, the target for a lot of uh, stick and banter from the athletes. This is Mark Ellison. He's a performance nutritionist, which means that for the last 10 years, he's had the job of telling rugby players, boxers and footballers that they can't just eat a whole load of chicken nuggets after a training session. That said, much of the hard work with elite athletes is about making sure they're getting enough food for their training. And no one needs more than heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. For a big guy like that, you might be talking like five eggs for breakfast, a few rounds of toast, a large plate of fruit, um, probably a big smoothie just to get some liquid calories in. Um, mid morning would be another small meal. Lunch, you, you know, you're looking at double portions, so it would be two chicken breasts or two pieces of fish, two steaks, a large serving of carbohydrates, and a large serving of vegetables. But yeah, it's just, it's just volume, isn't it? It's just hard to eat that much food, really. Mark's work covers a whole range of sports, but many of the principles are the same. There is one significant difference between designing a nutrition plan for boxers as opposed to for footballers, however. Anthony's a huge guy, um, 115 kilos for the last fight, um, compared to sort of average footballer who might be 80 kilos. So that extra, what, 35 kilos of mass requires a lot more fuel. Um, ultimately as well, I guess, just the demands of the sport for someone like Joshua are just quite different. Um, the boxers that we work with are just unbelievable. They, they never fail to impress me in the sort of the amount of work that they get through and just their general commitment to the training, diet and lifestyle that goes with it. You know, they lock themselves away for 12 weeks in camp where um, no bad food would pass their lips and they're just totally focused on that training, rest, recovery and diet and um, yeah Joshua's probably the best offer for him it, it wouldn't be unusual for him to be in maybe 5,000 calories on a big day um, so it's a lot of food to get through and they're, they're the sort of days where we would start to look at targeted sports supplements just so it doesn't become an unusually large amount of food. Right okay so can you describe for me what 5,000 calories looks like in oh, terms of picture, in terms of like, I don't know, steaks. Steaks? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. I'd have to get my calculator out. And of course, it's all about the right kind of food. The days of footballers demolishing a vat of pasta with a few bits of cheese on top are well and truly over. If you're exercising hard, modern day refueling is all about protein. Typically, the diets are based on whole foods. Um, lots of wholesome, healthy fruits and vegetables at every meal um, with key proteins at every single feed as well to protect the sort of muscle mass and grow new muscles and help the athletes recover quickly after exercise and then carbohydrates put in there basically just to, to fuel the work. The meals might focus purely around protein and vegetables um, without a huge carbohydrate focus. So most of us don't need to be getting 5,000 calories on board, but there are always things we can do to improve our diet. Here's Mark's top three. Fluid intake's massive, um, regular drinks throughout the day, um, proteins with each meal, um, especially as people get older um, and the aging population, protein helps you maintain your muscle mass and maintain some strength. So just from a public health point of view, getting regular protein feeds is key and that's something that people often get wrong. And then again, a whole food based diet, like full in lots of fresh, wholesome fruits and vegetables. They're going to give you a lot of the extra vitamins and um, all those sort of healthy antioxidants and things that, you know, help us uh, keep living healthy for longer, I guess. And the big question here, given they're such a great source of protein and Anthony Joshua polishes off five of them for breakfast, is it ever possible to overdose on eggs? Eggs is a funny one, isn't it? People, you, you do hear, hear about people saying, 
too many eggs. I don't worry about it too much with our guys. We, 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 we promote a varied diet. We ask them to eat variety and too much of anything is no good for anyone because you're not getting a variety of all the different nutrients. But I certainly have no concerns about them having like five eggs in a day. Five eggs. I think we're going to start adopting